Jim Tafe Deja E. Is that so Tascos Vascrar by Teak? And Pajaj La Mojaj Push. Jaj Kales Molo Nihok Chu. What in the Sunto and Greffo is going on? Is it a riot? Here I am without old Oidbeck, my favorite disruptor rifle. A riot? With banners, confetti, a parade, and drinking? Sounds like a party to me. It's a celebration for the christening of the new Bortas class flagship. I just gave a nice engineering student some beads for flashing me her ridges. The Empire needs to unveil new ships every week. I hear that the most dangerous Klingon in the galaxy will be delivering a special message to the Federation on behalf of the Empire. A letter to the Federation? What madness is this? Is the Klingon Intelligence Division pulling a public relations stunt? It's a response from Lieutenant General Durek about the recent hostility against the Empire by the Federation for our continued growth and expansion. I hear it is directed towards the war effort and the fact that the Federation has been a driving force behind our expansion for a long time. A driving force behind our expansion? All they do is complain and attempt to levy sanctions against the Empire for our immoral and barbaric actions in the war. True. For a time of war, our expansion has been slow compared to past wars. And yet, they still cry foul whenever we advance. They have no right to dictate how the Empire is to grow. Quiet! The announcement is about to begin. Warriors of the Empire, it is my honor to be before you today. You have fought well in our war with the Federation. Our recent raids against Starfleet and Pycanus have yielded an abundance of resources. It has allowed us to recently expand our fleet like never before. But this you know. What you may not know is that the Imperial Shipyards and the Honorable Shipwright Logan, the greatest shipwright the Empire has ever known, has been working in secret to develop a mighty ship capable of destroying any vessel Starfleet has, including their precious Odyssey. It features a total of eight weapon slots fore and aft. Four device slots, four tactical, four engineering, and one science console. It's got seats for one lieutenant tactical, and an ensign, and one commander engineering, and a lieutenant science, and a lieutenant commander universal seats for the bridge crew. With its advanced warp core, not only can it maintain a maximum warp factor of 9.96, will boost power to weapons, and finally, it comes with a standard cloaking device and support for cannons. The moment that we've all been waiting for has arrived. It is my pleasure to reveal the Empire's newest class of battle cruiser. It is our new flagship, the Bortos. Oh, splendid. This just in, the Tiger Corps fleet yards have announced that they are offering seats on the Porta Shakedown crews for a limited time. Report to Engineer Tamara for details. That is all. That is good news. How did I not know about this? Remind me to kill my contact at the shipyards. It's better this way. I still have nightmares of seeing you dry nocturging the viewport. Ah, yes. Fond memories those were. Anyone know when they're going to begin the announcement? I need to go to the Pooch Paws. I think it's coming up next. It'll have to wait. I don't want to miss the letter. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. I write threatening letters to the Federation all the time. That may be true, but your letters don't come with the approval of the High Council. Backed by the strength and power of the entire Empire behind it. Oh, when you put it that way, you, you've piqued my interest. My ridges are tingling in anticipation. Do you think they're going to announce a bold new strategy? 
I, I hope they give us permission to invade the very heart of the Federation, Earth. <laughs> Easy, you old fool. I doubt we will be invading just yet. I just hope that it is different than our standard responses. You mean our standard? Shut up and leave us to our business response. Yes, that one. However, I'm sure Starfleet will pay about as much attention to this new message as they have everything else we've had to say. The Federation is run by a bunch of fools. After all, we were the ones that discovered the Undyne plot to subvert the Quadrant. And what's the thanks do we get? They still treat us as enemies, as monsters to vanquish, as scum of the galaxy. It's not right. It appears we have touched a nerve. Many warriors are unhappy with the Federation's position on expansion. You mean the double standard. Aye, they are able to expand and grow as they see fit. However, once the Empire takes back a few worlds, we suddenly are the evil Empire and must be stopped at all costs. It's Baktak. Kapla! Gark, you're preaching to the choir, my friend. The Federation has many enemies right now. The Borg, the Cardassians, the Breen, even the Romulans. Romulans. All we've done since the Hobus disaster was take back a handful of territories that were originally ours. While the Federation attempts to swallow the remains of the Romulan Star Empire through diplomacy and goodwill, if they had it their way, they would take it all and leave us with nothing. See what I mean? They're more devious than Romulans, greedier than Ferengi, and more ruthless than the Nausicans, more hospitable than Orions, and about as honorable as a Lethian. Had you gotten your way, we would have invaded Earth the moment this war began. And we should have. Maybe they have come to an agreement with the Federation. What if peace has been declared? <coughs> I swallowed the wrong word. <laughs> Something is happening. I think the wait is finally over. This is a special message of the Klingon Empire. Warriors, it is my pleasure to introduce the most dangerous Klingon in the galaxy. We of the Klingon Empire recognize that you have a choice in your subjugators, and we want to wholeheartedly thank you for choosing the Klingon Empire for all of your tyrannical villainy needs. We recognize that being the sworn enemy of the Federation is a challenging task that requires persevering effort, boundless courage, and endless enthusiasm. The galaxy is acutely aware that terrorizing the Federation and conquering its endless variety of strange races is no easy task. The Federation ceaselessly turns out advanced weapons of war and uses the most cunning of underhanded cultural assimilation tactics and subterfuge to stave off even the most determined of invasions. We of the Klingon Empire want you to know that where the Borg, the Undyne, and the Romulans, and many others have failed and utterly disappointed you, the Klingon Empire will continue to surpass expectation. We are proud to provide a reason for your overwhelmed and ultra-violent military to have a brief but meaningful existence. And we will continue to produce the highest quality arch villainy that is required to make the selfish and arrogant heroes your strange society desperately craves and worships. The Klingon Empire wants you to know that at the competitively affordable cost of a few hundred million lives, the Empire can continue to provide this high-quality service and fulfill the role of common enemy that holds your fragile political organization together. We again want to take this opportunity to thank you 
and we hope you will continue to come to the Empire for all your brutal, merciless combat needs. <laughs> Please be sure to swing by the Neutral Zone to check out all of the great new deals and finding a good day to die. <laughs> and we hope you will share the experiences of your fallen comrades with your friends and neighbors. Thank you. Kapla! Kapla! Offer not available to Puerto Rico, New Jersey, and the Romulan Empire. Extra taxes and fees may apply in New York, California, and Ferengar. The Klingon Empire is not responsible for loss of property, planets, or atomically disrupted cargo during our mini raids. The Klingon Empire reserves the rights to strategically regroup bombard civilian populations, and commence raids under the guise of honor. Any questions or concerns should be addressed to Chancellor Kempak. One Great Hall Drive, First City, Kronos. Glory and honor to the Empire. Well said. I'm going to have to pay Madame Turi to send a Ryan thank you gift to d and the most dangerous Klingon. What is wrong, Cora? What in the name of Grether was that? It's not what I expected. What did you expect, Cora? Well, a little less commercialism, for one. The entire message reminded me of a Ferengi used ship salesman I once knew. Oh no, here we go again. Cora, you're being too analytical again. It's the spirit of the message that matters most. The spirit of the message? Yes, it's a celebration, Cora. The message, the new flagship, the war. It's a great time to be a Klingon. They just seemed like empty words to me. Don't be a stick in the mud. Have more blood wine and just enjoy yourself. A warrior needs to enjoy the best things in life. To crush your enemies. See them driven before you and hear their lamentations from Grethor. Kapla! Kapla! If you want to join the Gates of Stovacor, hail us at posts at gatesofstovacor.com. Visit our site at gatesofstovacor.com. And next week, I find some old Digna glitch under my cushion seat on the helm of my ship. So I come back, we enjoy it with blood wine, and wax rhapsodic from Anna in the Empire. Suddenly I'm hungry and I don't know why. Anna tomorrow.